Hello everyone and welcome to Lobo Jutodoku and today we're repainting the Berserker Sword from that Fig Mikhail that I've reviewed previously. If you haven't watched that review from the Figma Berserker KO figure, there will be a link in the cards above somewhere. After watching this video, go watch the full review. It will have more details that are probably important to know if the figure is worth it or not. But for now, we're focusing on fixing this guy that this is the look that it came with there you go this is the look that it came with it's uh, bad it's bad it's it's really bad and this is already repainted and that's how i'm going to show you how to do it and i believe it looks a lot better don't you just a lot more vivid and not just just doesn't look good I'll go step by step showing you how to get a much better looking realistic bloody sword. Let's get into it. Follow me, I'll cover you. Okay, so let's see what we are going to need to repaint this sword. First of all, we're going to need three different brushes. And the brushes that we're going to need is an all-purpose brush. So the type of brush that you, you see more just to paint the metallic finish of the silver. We're going to need a smaller detail brush, so a, f a brush with a finer tip, just for small parts where that one will not reach well. And we're going to need this type of brush, like a flat surface brush for the blood. Of course, we're going to need two little containers to put in the paint. So it is useful to have two different ones. Now, these, of course, are being heavily used already. And of course we're going to need our paints and the three paints that we're definitely going to need is going to be These are from me from Remenis. They are acrylic paints and they're very nice. We're going to need steel Now you can replace steel by silver and other metallic colors, but I do think for a sword steel is the best one We're going to need matte black and the matte black we're going to need to help with some finishing touches, like to get some different uh, colorations of the blood. And that's the most important one is the blood red, of course. Don't paint it with just normal red, use this type of red. Then we're going to need, of course, some paper. It's going to be useful overall to have paper on hand. Now we're going to put it here. Just to help clean our brushes a cup with some water to also help clean the brushes some alcohol some cut and swipes now the cut and swipes are simply with the alcohol to remove errors that we may or may not do and some mask tape why do we need the mask tape to cover up this black part that we are not supposed to paint under. So I'm going to do just that before we start. Another thing that I may use, I'm still not sure, is some weathering. Now weathering is different from just paint, it's some pigments that you put and I may use some rust on the sword, but let's see after we finish painting maybe i'll use this maybe i won't so let's start off with the masking tape again it is a very important detail because you don't want to paint over this black part So now we're going to start our paint job and for that we're going to start with steel so shake that baby off really well because the paint has already some thinner in there and you need to mix the thinner with the paint before taking it out now let's put some paint there now we can easily 
paint over it. As you can see, it's very similar to the one color that they already use there. And what we need to do is just paint over it and then let it dry. As you can see, it's important just to easily brush. Now, it will never be as easy as airbrushing. It will, airbrushing will always look slightly better than hand brushing, but if you're careful enough, you will have overall a good final result. So now we gave it the first coating and we need to let it dry before applying a second coating. Don't forget to clean up your brush so it doesn't dry off on you. And let's wait. Okay, so the first one is almost dried so we can start adding a little bit more to it. Okay, so let the paint dry well, and you can see more or less we have a uniform iron paint. And now we're going to add the blood, and we're going to start adding the blood first with the tone that it goes out of the box, and then we're going to start darkening in the parts that we need to. Shake it well. Now we're going to use this one and we should not use too much concentrated and we're going to start splattering the bl blood around. We're going to do it in kind of crazed off way to look like it is splattered and is not just painted as we had before. Here we can put a lot of it. And here in the, the tips, let's... Because it shouldn't get too much here, we're going to just So, small droplets. Now, one thing that we can already do is peel off the masking tape. So we can start peeling it off to reveal what's below us. You can see there's always some small amounts that kind of still bleeds this off but it's easy to fix with some cotton wipes and some alcohol so we can already start removing the excess of paint that we got here so after doing some cleanup i noticed there are two parts that are a problem here you can see that still some of the old paint job and we have also here the same situation but I can easily clean it up. So for this part I'm going to need some more civil painting and I'm going to need this precision part here in order to try to mask as much as possible. But then I'm going to add a lot of blood to cover it up and the blood is going to be mostly what's going to fix this problem. Just splatter it around and we have ourselves mostly that problem fixed. 
and this same goes for this part right there what we need is more blood so just add as much as possible and we'll cover up that little defect right there once we are happy with this result so the overall look here we'll need to add a thicker type of red and that thicker part of red is going to be inside these other parts of red but near the edge of the blade to look like there's a more concentration of blood and rust and for that we are going to need a darker red but how do we get the darker red well simple we're going to mix this red with some black and for that you can see i already did that for the other part i'm gonna again shake our red and just a tiny bit and then shake our black Maybe four droplets will be enough. And we need a little bit more black on here. Okay, so we got our first layer in and we're going to continue to try to add a little bit of darker layer. Now the darker layer again is just on the tip. Tip, 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 tip. A lot here. Here should be a lot darker. It's starting to look a little bit more like the previous one again don't forget let it dry first before adding a second layer let the first layer dry otherwise you're going to mess up the paint like I actually did one time during the duration of this video okay so finally we have our final result uh, let me back up a little bit there you go both sides are done painted the blood as I think it looks a lot better than it did before I tried to put some continuation between both sides so you can see that the blood is running from this side down and the same way in the other side so the blood is it's is the this is the the part that is going to hit this enemy and the blood is going to splatter back from that side so some continuation and now we're going to give it the final touch and the final touch is going to be that rust and I'm going to put the rust in the parts where they're silvered so it sort of looks a little bit older so we have our pigment we have our small little brush let's try a little bit like this there you go that's that's actually working a little bit better okay and with that I think we have a good final result just some small rust in the exposed parts and of course we could even improve some other parts like for example we could repaint this with some metallic color well I could have done that but unfortunately this video was already way too long so I decided not to and you already get the idea more or less of what you needed to do to also paint that end guard and again I think the final result looks a lot better than the original paint job of the KO but guys tell me what you think in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like 
Your engagement is essential for helping this channel to grow and for me to make more content like this for you guys. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to know when the next videos are up. See you next time.